Hello, top of the time zone, everybody. It is me, Freddie J, here with Freddie J Sports. This is the first time in I don't know how long that I've been away from PGA Tour 2K23. But finally, we're back and we're going to get started. We're going to be doing the My Career to start us off today. And then after that, we're going to be going on step by step to bring out more content throughout you know the rest of the week month not sure whether or not i'm going to be doing daily uploads but we're determined to bring out more content so without further ado let's go ahead and get started here let's go to my career where did we left off ah uh, there's our golfer right there we left off at the Fellowship Open at TPC Sawgrass. We were currently 10 under for the first round. Now we're moving on to the second round here at the Corn Ferry Tour. Let's get started. Here's all the settings that we're going, currently going through. And yes, I'm on easy mode because I didn't know how this game was going to play. And so we're going to start slowly until we uh, get back up again. Maybe we'll go pro eventually and play with the TCC Tours. But here we are. Live. 2K Sports in the Corn Ferry Tour. This is the Fellowship Open here at TPC Sawgrass. Crowd is on their feet for the second round coverage. Let's go ahead and get started. Here are the people you won't be hearing today because I've muted them all. All you're going to be hearing is me. So let's begin underway. Now here we are at the first tee. 282 yards is our driver. We got 429 yards to the cup. We didn't even warm up or anything. And that's going to cost us. All right. Heavy rough. Looks like we're going to have to play conservative on this one. That one's a bit faster. Well, actually, we slowed that one down a bit. We're back on the fairway. Seems like we're playing like how we are in real life. First tee shot. Not so well second when we get on the fairway and now we have to scramble for par let's get this gap wedge do a little art on here slowing it down a lot now let's see if that helps us Right now, this is going to be a big putt for par. This is 37 feet right here. Going five up. This is going to be a test of speed right now. And looks like we're going to be starting over par. We'll sink that for bogey. And so we drop down to nine under. And let's see at what's going on with the leaderboard. As a lot of the other players already started. 
We're tied with Henry Rowe. And now here we are at the second. 531 yards. This one, I believe, is a par 5. It's not telling me. I'm going to assume it's a par 5. Yeah, it's a par 5. Man, I could not read for a second. Forgive me on that one. A bit fast, and that's going to come back to the left. That is 305 yards. First green and regulation on the way. Maybe we can go under. It's like we're not getting the best out of these swings. A lot of them are being fast. That one flirted with the bunker, but we got it out of there. All right, this is a weird looking angle, but it can be cleared. Gonna need a. Oh, look at that. We're on in regulation, and this is a chance for birdie right here. Seven feet. Got it. First birdie of the day. 10 under for the tournament. So far, me and Henry going neck and neck. Here we are at the par three. 177 yards to the pin. Gonna go with an eight iron. That one's still a bit fast. That's gonna be on the green, but it's gonna be nowhere near the hole. But it is gonna be for a putt. This one's gonna be a long birdie putt here. And it is going to be, once we get it, 29 feet. Not a lot of movement at the cup but you got to get past this first initial part right here but it's all downhill going left to right that one swerved a little bit a little bit too far but it it did the job makes this next one a little bit easier We'll take par. Still neck and neck after three. Here we are at the fourth. Currently ten over. Now dealing with a par five. I know I said it's a par five, but it's actually a par four. Oh, that one's slow this time. Might be bunker bound or maybe it'll kick forward. Oh, that one had a lot of yardage to it. 322, but it's in the heavy rough, so this is going to take a lot of damage right here. Let's see what a pitch shot will do with the sand wedge. A bit slow, and that is definitely nowhere towards what we were expecting. A nice amount of yardage, 69. All right, now this one's a tough birdie shot right here. This one's going to require some trickery.
That one might get the speed down. Tell you what, that was a brilliant angle. We will take that shot. That is excellent. Cleans it up for par and will remain at 10 under for the tournament. Still even par for the round, though. And now Henry Rowe currently in the lead. It's only the second round. It's not like the cut is a matter right now. It will if we start slipping up a little bit. Here we are at the fifth of 462 yards. We will probably need to calibrate this for the third round. As long as we make it to the third round. 317. Going to go with the pitching wedge here. A bit slow that time. This is going to probably hit the mound. Oh, going to fly right past the mound. Good club. Just bad swing. Off the green for birdie. And look at this. Almost knocked at the door. My goodness. Always a threat off the green. We'll tap in for that par. Now Henry Rowe now three up ahead of Freddie. Now here we are at the sixth. 396 yards. This is one of the shorter par fours on the TPC Sawgrass. Wind's going eastern. Knowing my luck, I want to turn it the other way, so I'm going to put it right there. And slice. Could not hit the crosswalk there. Maybe that was a good thing, though, because you're now dealing with mulch instead of whatever was out of bounds. We got to thread the needle on this one. That is for sure. Going with the gap wedge? Question mark? A bit slow. But that might creep on the green. Or not. No, it went the other way. Well, back on the rough again. Let's see if we can make a great recovery this time. We've been known to make quite a bit of recoveries in the last few games. That was perfect. Great way to line that up for par. And there we go. Always cleaning it up. Even par through six. And now here we are at the seventh. All right. Wind is going eastern again. This time, going to be on the right side. Gonna aim towards the bunker right here and hopefully the wind does its job. It's also a little bit slow, so this one's gonna be a little bit of a slice. What a kickback. And now we're in the not on the fairway, but it's only the light rough here, so we should be able to make past it. It's only the first cut. 
154 yards to go. This one's back to being a fastball, and yeah, we're definitely going to be needing to calibrate the swing again. It really tried to push a little bit, but unfortunately, it was not enough. So, it's like we're going to have to do some magic on this chip to get this one at least a little bit close. Now, this one is for par. Been doing a great job lately of closing out the holes. Only one putt. And now here we are at the eighth. This is our second par three of the round. Currently with a three hybrid in hand is going with the three iron. Not a real hybrid fan. Let's see how this plays out. Trying to go for a little draw here. Maybe got a little bit more than he bargained for. And that one will not make it on the green. Instead slides into the bunker. Really tried right there. It was really a good attempt. Just didn't get all of it. Good out. Maybe a little bit too far outside the comfort zone, but we're on the green. This is for par. This one's a nine feet. A little bit of right to left. Let's see how much of a heartbreaker this one will be. That's in. Well done to read that one. Still even par through eight. Looks like Henry uh, bogeyed that one. So we'll drop a shot. Closing in on Freddie and Ming. Here we are at the ninth. Finally, another par five to work with this is a great time to catch up that one sounded good but this one looks like it's going to the right side of the fairway that's going to be 280 now with a three wood in hand freddy's actually going to go for it driver off the deck Let's see how this works out. Extremely slow, but this should give us enough distance. Still going to be on the fairway, but uh, you kind of wonder if we should have just best to go with the three wood. Is he going to do it? I believe so. Freddy is going for the patented freddy flop right here oh wow that's surprising i have never in my days have seen it done that Good stop and go, but unfortunately, that's not what we're looking for, as now this is for par. At least it is par we're shooting for, rather than bogey. One of the things I do not like is going for bogey on a par 5. And so far, through the first 9, Henry still has the lead 2 over, or sorry, 2 under, Freddy. As Freddy's now currently even par 
through the front nine. The projected cuts five over. We are nowhere near that. But anything can happen on the back nine. Here you are at the 10th, 393 yards. Wind's picking up a little bit. Let's see if that even matters. And the wind and the hook fighting each other to make that ball a little bit straight that time. Nicely played. 118 yards left here on the second shot. That one is extremely slow out of nowhere. Flush in the sand. That did not go anywhere, and that may cost them. This is a long john for par. 23 feet. It's makeable, but you have to be a good reader at this. That's getting real close. What a shot! Been saving par like the life has been dependent on it. Henry's going to go up another stroke against Freddy. Now another par five. Let's see if he can ride on that momentum. A good check swing there. I did not see that tree was going to end this man's career. I think it still did. Cart path is not going to help you here. Lost a bunch of potential yardage on that one. Now you're going to have to lay up. I'm trying to get greedy here. See what a three iron does. That one's a bit slow, but it should be back on the fairway. I see that tree is going to be a issue. All right, here we go. With a pitching wedge in hand. I was looking. Oh no. Barely got it through. That was scary. If that went in the water, that would have been trouble for sure. We might have been looking at a bogey right here. Now, this is a birdie shot. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Hey! What a shot right there. Unbelievable. Hold out from the sand. We're going to get a replay on that. This was a spectacular shot, the whole out for birdie. This is amazing right here. Look at this. Just lined it up perfectly. Hits the pin and everything. 18 yards out. That is an amazing shot right there. First birdie in about nine holes. Now Freddy's back all alone in second place. Let's keep it going. Here we are at the 12th, par four, 346 yards. That sounded good, but it's still a bit slow, and this is going into the thick of it. Oh, that's going to be a tough look right here.
I, I really can't see what's going on here. How in the world did he got it out of there? What in the world? What in the world? Wow! This guy is nuts! He was in the woods and was somehow able to put that within inches from the hole. Yeah, it rolled off, but that was insane. That was incredible. I would I would never in my years have pulled something off like this. This is truly something we're seeing right now. Stopped it right on a dime. What a great recovery. I will not try that again. <laughs> the crowd is getting crazy right now. Here we are at the 13th of par 3. Here at the TPC Sawgrass. You're tuning into the second round coverage of Freddie here on Freddie J Sports. Currently in second place at 11 over for the tournament. Sorry, under. Hundred and eighty eight yards right here. That one's somehow surprisingly slow. It's like every time we try to apply and think for a fast one, we end up with a slow one. But it's okay, we've been out of and made great recoveries so far. See if you can make another one. Sounded real nice. That one's doing a real good job. Got a lot closer than we imagined. And now to tap in for par. We say tap in even though it's nine feet out. Pros could tap this one in. And this is why we're on the Corn Ferry Tour, not the Pro Tour. This is our first bogey since the first. And with that, Henry Rowe is going to have a four-stroke advantage as we head to the 14th. All right. That one sounded pure, but it was still a slow swing. Let's see if this mound helps us kick it back in a fairway. It does. Crowd cheering for a 304 on that drive. All right. Vote of no confidence right here. We're going up with the 8-iron, 162 yards out. And that time, it decided it wanted to be fast. You'd love to see it, though. All right. Let's work our magic yet again. Alright, did we learn our lesson from last time? Eight feet. A little bit of a right to left here. Oh, no. Kissed the lip and said, no, thank you. Back-to-back -back bogeys. Now we're dropping down a little bit. Hopefully we can make a comeback. Here we are at the 15th. Lots of trees in the way on this one. Mmm, 
that sounded a little bit too much right there. And we're going to be in the mulch. All right, we got a five iron in hand, 207 yards. It's going to be interesting how this plays out. That one's a little bit better, but I don't think this is going to make it anywhere close to the target. It will be on the green, but for how long? is It looks like it's going to roll right off a bit. Well, good. So now we can actually chip this one. Whoa, that may have been a little bit too far. Was not expecting that much power. All right, this is for par. We don't want three bogeys in a row. Good pace. Gets it in. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I mean, you fool me, you can't fool me again. All alone and second. Nine under. Here we are at the sweet 16th. This is a par five. Caddy gave me a driver. My caddy's out of their mind. I know how we angled it as a draw, but this one ended up being straight into the pine straw. Question is, are we bold enough to go with a three hybrid right here? I honestly don't think so. I honestly don't think that's the move. Especially if... If it lands right here, that's going to be uh, no bueno. Worth the shot. That was a big chunk. It survived the water. Now, can it survive this shot right here? Hitting a pitch shot raw. Finally, a putt for birdie. We haven't dealt with that in a while. But the twist is, this one is not your average birdie shot. This is 28 feet. Luckily, it's not as fast as the other ones, but... Don't want to miss it. This one's looking good. Oh, just a tease off. So close. And now the famous hole on the TPC Sawgrass. Hundred and forty five yards. That one's going wide into the water. Is it going to really split? Wow. That is very unfortunate. It literally went both sides.
finally. What is this? It gonna go over now? Oh, wow. That was the club? After all that, that one ended up being like two inches from the hole, two feet. That's got to be infuriating. That knocks us out of the top five. All right, here we are at the final hole. That did not seem fast, but this one's also going to be waterbound. Not a good break right here. If you think for a second that we're going to lay up after that. And that one's slow. Yeah, we definitely need to spend some time at the driving range on this one. This is for par, but we have no shot of making this. Especially when you uh, don't use all of your club like that. Alright, now it's time for damage control. Best we can do right now is a double bogey. That one went right past the hole. This or triple. At least it was a one putt. Nasty way to end. Well, we shoot 78 there. The great lead we had coming in. We finished six over for today, four under for the tournament. We'll move on to round two. From round two, we'll make the cut. However, we're now outside the top ten. As Henry Rowe currently stands at 16 under. This concludes this round at the TPC Sawgrass. Thank you again for everybody for coming out. And as always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time.